Hey, it's Michael Lindsay from Vital MX, and today we are taking you guys inside Colin Park's Phoenix Racing Honda CRF 250R. The Phoenix Racing Organization is maybe a little bit more familiar to some than others um, due to the vast amount of racing they do. They are really kind of Honda's official factory entry in Arena Cross and GNCC and then they're labeled as a factory satellite program for the Supercross series. This year they're running East Coast at a little bit more of an elevated program. Um, sadly due to some injuries with Shock and Peters, it's been a little bit quieter lately, but Colin Park is the main guy holding it down. He's in his rookie SX season and we decided to take a look through his bike. Um, the program's pretty cool. It's grown a lot in the last couple years. A lot more of the program is in-house. Um, the engine program is headed up by Dean Baker. Um, the, everybody jokes and calls Dean the, the horse, Dean Baker the horse power maker. Uh, famous for his long stint at JGR. Before that, he was the main engine guy at Yamaha Troy, or back when he was actually Honda Troy before that. Diving into it, it's a mix of stuff you've seen or that Dean's really well experienced in, which is a lot of race winning brand parts. So. They're using Wiseco pistons. Um, it is set up to their specification, as we say with all these motors. The rod is a Wiseco uh, Racer Elite rod. Um, it is a plane bearing rod, as far as we're aware, in this motor, where the standard Honda 250 uses a roller bearing. The head spec comes from Tom Alaska, who is another person that that team has worked with for a while. Tom has some involvement with the HRC program through Ryan Cox, who we've interviewed before. Um, if you check out, we did a feature with him on the Lawrence's bikes earlier this year, and we kind of talk on his relationship with Malaska and how he's involved in their program. The cam spec is something that Dean came up with for this engine. Uh, they are running a dual injector kit. All the electronics on the bike are controlled by GET. Um, they're a little bit more uncommon to see here in the US than in Europe. Dean's got a really good relationship with GET from their time at JGR where they used all their data acquisition systems, their ECUs, and again, they've been able to do the plug and play on the, the dual injectors for a while. So all the data acquisition on this bike is GET systems, the ECUs, and then they modify the wiring harness as needed to accept different items and modify the fuel system or the fuel route line routing to go to the second injector kit that they've added. On the bottom end side, the transmission in this bike, as far as we're aware, is standard. It's probably been through some sort of coating or um, shop painting or some sort of surface treatment process to make it just actuate and work a little better. And then the clutch in the bike is provided by Henson. Moving into the chassis side, as far as we're aware, the actual frame, swing arm, nothing's really gusseted or modified like we see on some of the factory level 250 teams. They seem really happy with the consumer production CRF 250R as it is. Um, they do move around a few things on the electrical and add some mounts just to kind of hang some stuff. But other than that, like I said, the chassis itself standard, engine mounts are standard on the bike. We do see them every once in a while drill the top hangers out just a little bit. Um, but other than that, really try not to dig down too deep of a rabbit hole or change too much on the bike in that standard. Um, the triple clamps on the bike are actually stocked this year. They've rotated through a host of aftermarket options and they said the riders chose the feel and comfort of the stock cast clamp. So something unique to see on the bike. It's not a cost item or anything like that. It was purely that's what the rider said they liked the most. Um, but to try to keep it where the, the stock clamps and bar mounts like to twist a lot, they are running a ride engineering one piece top mount to try to eliminate the, the bar mounts from twisting if the riders are to fall down. They do have access to some works Nissan brake calipers, which they're running with the stock 260 millimeter rotor that comes from Honda. Actually, the front and rear rotors on this bike are stock. All the carbon on the bike, like the skid plates and brake discards and a few of those items are provided by P3 Carbon. Uh, the wheels come from W. Uh, David's a big fan of like throwback Honda stuff. He's kind of got like a Honda museum sort of in the front of the race shop. So he's a big fan of the old school gold setup. So they're around the gold hoops this year, just some Excel rims they've been able to, they've actually purchased. And then they are sponsored by DID for the chain side of things. The hubs are from Han. And again, they're all assembled and built and provided to them through WUSA. Um, they are one of Pirelli's mainstay teams here in the US across all their programs. Again, Arena Cross, Supercross, GNCC. So they're running Pirelli's front and rear. The team has access to the MX32 mid soft and mid hard rears. They are also one of the teams that is, has access this year to their new stadium tire. Something unique to the bike is KYB suspension. Of course, Honda has jumped back and forth on production over the years, but primarily Honda is known as a show up brand. Currently the 250 and 450 come with its stock. All their components come through Enzo Racing. 
They provide all the components on lease, all the parts, service, and testing, and they send a technician to the majority of the races to assist the team. Uh, the suspension on the bike, again, it's KYB. The front fork for the majority of the riders on the team has been the PSF1 air fork, like the Star Racing team has been using for years and years. And then um, they do have the option of spring forks. Peters did run some spring forks in arena cross and was dabbling with them a little bit in supercross, but the mainstay of the rest of the team is on PSF1 air. Ross is usually a pretty big believer in not getting too far out in left field with linkages. So bell crank and linkage on this bike is stock. The team typically runs Motul's 1040 300V road race formula for the engine oil in these bikes. And they also use all their lubricants, you know, chain lubes and all those items uh, across the rest of the motorcycle. VP provides the racing fuel in this machine. Other accessories we see on the bike, other than the ECU and the data acquisition systems, which are a little more tucked in, are the RPM sensor or light up that's on the front fender that allows the guys to set up um, different map information for it or see their revs as they're doing a start. They also have a button mounted, not up on the handlebars, but down by the bar mount, the sort of a launch control switch that they can use on the start to engage a specific map that's maybe a little bit better suited to get off the grate or through the first shift or two down the start straight. Some of the last little bits on the bike, a lot of little works connection hard parts pieces on here, their clutch perch, their levers. The full exhaust system is provided by FMF. They work closely with Dean. We think it's pretty similar to the production system. We think they've made a few tweaks um, for this bike. FMF hasn't had a mainstay Honda team in a few years, so they're dipping their toes back in with Phoenix here. And then lastly, a little ode to the mechanic um, for Colin Park is Chris McCracken. He's been with Colin for multiple years now. He actually doesn't work for the Phoenix team full time. They're really cool with the fact that Colin had this relationship with his guy. So he helps out kind of get his bike built initially during the season. And then he comes in every race weekend, does the race builds and takes care of Colin on the race weekends. The practice bikes are built during the week. Back at the race shop, Heath Harrison, who is the team manager slash crew chief slash mechanic for KP slash mechanic for himself slash pra Colin's practice guy mechanic slash, I, I don't know how many other job titles are given Heath, but he does a really well-rounded job. Um, again, the team's been growing a lot the last couple of years. So cool little look at Colin Parks, Phoenix Honda Racing CRF 250R.